Hi, I'm Shannon Holston. And I'm Cam Perrys, and we're from the Creative Circus in Atlanta, Georgia. So we've already heard a lot of statistics today about hunger in New York City and how we can possibly uh, help fix it. But we were thinking that statistics don't solve the problem of hunger, and they don't solve City Harvest's problem of getting people to be aware of them. So instead, we wanted to bring awareness to City Harvest and also give the people of New York a choice, a choice to donate to City Harvest and then get them to donate. This is Art Vandelay. He is an average New York City dweller. He lives in the city. He also rides public transit and he goes to restaurants all the time. And a New York Times study tells us that the average city dweller, like Art, is exposed to over 5,000 messages a day. And that's things like emails, print ads, radio ads, things that you see in taxis, things written on the back of bathroom stalls. And that's just a lot of noise to cut through. So how do we reach Art and all of his other friends through all of this noise? We want them just for a second to consider the impact that donating to City Harvest would have. The great thing about City Harvest is that it's all connected to choice. So the restaurants that donate can choose to donate their food at the end of the day or throw it away. The hungry population of New York City can choose to have a meal or not eat. And then the rest of New York City can choose to donate or not donate should they be aware that that is an option. So we, all of us, Cam, me, all of you guys, when we, from the second we wake up to the second we fall asleep at night, we're presented with options. And there's lots of different types of choices we make, like yes or no choices. So for example, Cam, would you like a Snickers bar? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. There's also open-ended questions. Shannon, which one of these would you like? Uh, I don't know, Cam. Dude, there's like a lot of stuff on that screen. I... Do you want me to give you a choice? Yes, please. All right. Would you rather have Airheads or Twix? Okay, that's super easy. I would totally love a Twix right now. That would be know. amazing. And I love Would You Rather. I love it. Right. So let's play Would You Rather, okay? Everyone can play. Um, let's do it by show of hands. So would you rather have a red velvet cupcake from Magnolia Bakery or frozen hot chocolate from Serendipity. So red velvet cupcakes and frozen hot chocolate. Ooh, I think red velvet got it. I, I would have gone for the frozen hot chocolate. Listen, that was the most girly would you rather I have ever heard. No, dude, that was an awesome would you rather. Okay, all right, I have one, all right. Would you rather have to eat a piece of pizza that was on Charlie Sheen's floor last night, uh, or eat your weight in butter. That's disgusting. Charlie Sheen's floor. Charlie Sheen's floor. <laughs> <laughs> weight in butter. Oh, wow. Charlie Sheen's floor wins. <laughs> Three All people right. have a very low opinion of Charlie Sheen. Right. All right. <laughs> so let's try this again. That, that was kind of silly. Gross. Yeah. Yeah. So. Would you rather have breakfast for dinner? Awesome. Or never eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner? Kim, that's like not a choice. And that's the point of our campaign. When we were talking about would you rather, we were, would you rather is great because it's usually like equal consequence. So would you rather have a cupcake or frozen hot chocolate? That's sweet. But we really want to get people to consider the flip side of the coin, not just something that they would prefer over one option. And when it comes down to the reality of eating or not eating, especially when food isn't an option, there's really no comparison. So for our campaign, we decided that we would like to give one option that any of us might make on a d any given day and one option, it's really a non-choice that the hungry population has to make. So you may recognize this question. Would you rather eat breakfast for dinner or never eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner? And the copy on this one reads, a meal of nothing should never be an option. And we really wanted to have a stark comparison between the top choice and the bottom choice and kind of make people stop and really think that it's not really a choice anybody would choose to make. 
And our tagline is make food an option because after they see this, we really want them to consider to donate to City Harvest and implore them to help the people that don't have the same choices. So the rest of the print ads read, would you rather overindulge at dinner or consider eating an indulgence? Would you rather plan a big family dinner, that'd be sweet, or fail to provide your family with food? And finally, would you rather wait two hours for meal delivery or wait two days between meals? Because even when our choices aren't great, they're still better that we can actually make those choices. And when we were talking about where we're going to put these, we decided we wanted to put them in places where we had a captive audience, where people had a hot second to look at it and really consider their choices. So we put them in places like bus shelters and areas of mass transit and um, uh, trains and buses where people look at it and consider the question and consider possibly donating. And we took advantage of what disaster relief efforts have done recently for donations, and that's a text to donate. At the bottom of each of the print ads, we asked them to text 232323 to donate to City Harvest. And the 23 uh, is in, uh, symbolic of the 23 cents it costs to do, uh, deliver one pound of food for City Harvest. And when they send that text, they get an automatic text response back that says, text yes to donate $2.30, the cost to deliver 10 pounds of food to City Harvest. Because if one pound of food is good, 10 pounds is better, and uh, $2.30 is cheaper than a bottle of water sometimes. And uh, they get a thank you screen that says $2.30 will be added to your phone bill. That way they don't even have to take out their wallets or deal with another person or be bothered by anyone. They can do their good deed for the day and move on. City Harvest really loves their partners like everybody has really talked about today. And we really wanted to utilize them as everybody else. So what we would do is we would give their partners things that are with the patrons while they're waiting. So, for example, we have a coaster, you're waiting at the bar, and you get to make a decision. Would you rather make a meal an occasion or make enough to eat an occasional meal? Here, you still have the text to donate option, and if you're waiting for a drink, all you would have to do is text that even before you get your drink. And then the buzzer while you're waiting for a table is, would you rather wait an hour for a table or wait a day for a meal? Same thing. You're sitting there watching, waiting for the lights to go off, and then you can text it, and you're done right before you sit down at your table. We also wanted to play Would You Rather, like we did with you guys, throughout the city. So this is a great example of what, and the question reads, what would you give up? And this is just a random example. What would you give up? Marshmallows or graham crackers? So you would text that. Well, I would give up marshmallows to 230230. The percentages would change instantly, so you knew that your answer made a difference. And then you'd get this text that's on the screen here. It says, giving up food should be by choice, not by necessity. Here, you would have to text yes to donate the $2.30, like we had previously said, or you could just continue to play the game. And finally, we're really excited about this. Um, we wanted to utilize Foursquare. By July, 50% of the population will have smartphones. And with far smartphones comes um, access to location-based technology, like Foursquare and Facebook Places. And one of the real advantages of using Foursquare is the specials nearby. And some people check in specifically for the specials. And it can be anything from eat here and get a free shot or shop here and get 10% off. But that's not really a choice. You either get to use it or don't. So we wanted to give people an option. We would take advantage, once again, of City Harvest Partners. And when people checked in, uh, for example, we use Whole Foods. So when we check in, we click the special nearby and you're giving, given a would you rather. Would you rather buy one gallon of milk and get the second gallon free, or donate that second gallon to City Harvest? Well, if you eat a lot of cereal, then that first gallon is sweet, because that's Whole Foods milk, so it's good milk. And, but if you're someone like me that doesn't really need a lot of milk, and that second gallon would just go bad, then it's not really special you would normally get to take advantage of. 
So you would choose milk or donate. And then at the end of your shopping trip, if you chose milk, you would get a barcode. And then you would, if you chose milk, it would update their inventory. You'd get the second gallon for free. Sweet. You got to, got to take advantage of a, a Foursquare special. But if you chose to donate, then it would collect all the proceeds of the people who chose to donate that day, and they would be given to City Harvest at the end of the day. So we believe that if you ask the right questions, you're gonna get the, the right answers. But why is this gonna work in New York City? We really believe that if you get people emotionally involved and get them engaged, it's going to break through all of the noise that people normally hear in the city. And we think that it, if you have that connection with them, that maybe if they see it one day, they're not gonna donate, but then if they have to skip lunch for an important meeting or miss dinner because they were working late, they might be able to relate a little bit with what it's like to miss one meal, let alone all meals, and want to donate the next time they see the sign or be more aware of City Harvest efforts. So as City Harvest tries to reach all of the art vandalays of New York City, we have to ask them, would you rather City Harvest get lost in a sea of advertising noise? Or give yourself the option to get noticed. Thank you. Thank you.